Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing more Starfield. So if you remember in the last episode, we, um, we leveled up a little bit and we also uh, investigated the wagon of fire to see what was going on there. All we ended up doing was finding out that Hope Tech, I've lost a spaceship. Um, and now we're wondering, have they been naughty boys? Have they, um... Were they were the ones behind it? It you know it it just left a lot of unanswered questions. So um, we're going to go over to Hope Tech and find out what's been going on. Uh, da -da, which is our next mission here. We need to go to the Pover's orbit and speak with them over there. But before we do that, I am wanting to have a look and see. If we can level up, um, is it our piloting? Yes, our piloting to get class B ships, which will unlock a boatload of different uh, upgrades for us, as well as uh, being able to install five unique ship modules. So I think we're going to take a trip back over to the rock over this way. And actually no I did see something excuse me online where there was a nice little spot where you could potentially time to tell Cora we're back kill a bunch of ships and level up so let's get ourselves into orbit and we'll investigate and see if this works oh look at that magnificent oh look at the planet in the background I think I get a little bit too excited at some of the stuff you can see in this game. <laughs> but it is, it does look fantastic. Let's just adjust the microphone there. Yeah, so let's have a look on the map. We do want to zoom out. And I believe it was somewhere. This one. Ser Serapentis. Now... Unfortunately, it's an unexplored route. We've not been there before, so we will have to jump here first. Hey, Dad. Will you read to me tonight before bed? Well, we're just going to go straight through that planet. Mm. Your oh. And will you do funny voices for the characters? Like you used to uh, when I was yeah, uh, this is not what I was expecting. So let's get our weapons loaded up. Just give up. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of ships here. Uh, our ship isn't doing too well, so let's just quickly. Your ship hull is low. If it drops to zero, you will explode. Press zero to repair your ship. I did press zero. Oh, we need to get out of here. Oh, bugger. Well, that didn't work. I'm starting to think that that might not be an option. Thank you very much. You haven't asked me to do that in a long time. Um, yeah, we need to get out of here, so let's just go to the map. And... Let's go back to this place. Let's go back to Aquila. And... Aquila City. We're in combat. Crap. Does this mean we can't get out of here? I think it might. Which is a bit of a problem. What about jump, jump in here? Can we... You cannot fast travel during combat. So how the heck am I supposed to get out of this? You, when I was little? You just try and stop me. We don't have any more boots. This is a problem. I think we might have to 
fight our way out of this. Now nah, we died. We, I, th I feel like we're stuck at this point. So how the heck are we meant to get out of here if we can't leave? I feel like we're gonna have to go to the menu and reload. <laughs> Right, so we're back from that. That didn't pan out. So we're going to head to the rock and we'll pick up a bounty and fight one ship at a time because that was ridiculous. Our shields were just getting annihilated straight away. So, uh, yeah, if you're a higher level a or your ships are a, a better ship, you might stand a chance, but unfortunately we don't. It would have been a good idea because that was a lot of ships. If we had a good ship, um, we would have destroyed a fair few. I imagine if we had a class B ship, um, we Just might have stood a slight chance. So we'll do it this way for now. And um, yes, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's find out where we need to go first. So we're gonna head here. Uh, da -da -da. Crimson Fleet Captain at Sol. Set course, and we'll jump. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Okay, scan away, Bucko. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. You are clear to land in Sidonia. Uh, can I select this place, please? There we go. <laughs> so, hopefully, this pans out a bit better than our last try. So let's lower energy to the bump up the missiles and um, we'll knock it down to one and we'll, then we'll go and this should work out a bit better i think once we get to the the class b part then okay if you say so we'll take out your engine That worked out well. Let's power down these boys. Power up the grab drive. Spring up in the map. And we'll head to head back to Aquila. Uh there it is. Aquila. Aquila City. And we'll head there and land. So 
Well, this this uh, this does take a fair few minutes, admittedly, but I think we're at eight now. We only need to get to fifteen, and then we can get the better ship stuff. So uh, it's going well. Uh, not I. Right, if we look here, this will get us rank two, and then we just need to get rank three. And of course, as well, we've got this unlocked, then that'll get us this. So that'll give us, yeah, we're at rank two, so this will give us rank three. Which I'm quite excited for because I would love to have a bigger ship. But right, I've got a fair few design ideas and a lot of them are locked behind unlocking class B parts. Hey, we've got a triple jump there. Yeah, it does get... I've got to admit, this does get a bit... A bit boring to do. I wish I knew of a faster way, so if anyone does know of a faster way... Please, let me know in the comments, because when it comes to unlocking Class C parts... Man, is that going to drag. Set course. Jump. Oh, bugger. There is a lot of asteroids here. So we'll just carefully head this way. Uh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, nearly. He just rammed us. That's not good. Let's bring her around. We're gonna get one. There's one. Right. Now we need to work on the other guy before he gets us. Now if we can stay behind him, he can't shoot us. Go, bring it around, bring it around. Let's uh, knock out his missiles. <laughs> oh, and he's down. That was a tough fight. That was very tough. Alright, let's go get our other rewards. Where's the other guy? There they are. I was not expecting a second fight. So why aren't repairs working? I would love to know why I can't repair my ship. Pressing and holding zero. Does that not seem to work? Let's have a look. Uh, it would be under R, I would imagine. Hit combat. Controls, docking, modification, power, repair. There are three different types of damage your starship can sustain. EM damage, a special type of damage that reduces power for a period of time. EM damage cannot be repaired. You must wait for the effect to expire. System damage, this type of damage reduces the max power of your, for your starship systems and can eventually disable the system entirely. To repair the system, give power to it. After a bit of time, the damaged power slots will, be, will come back online. 
Hull damage. Any type of damage that is not absorbed by your shield is taken by hull damage. If your hull's integrity reaches zero, your ship will explode, resulting in death. You can visit ship service technicians to repair your ship. Alternatively, you can stock up on ship parts, which are items that take up cargo space. Using these will restore some of your hull integrity. You can use ship parts while in the ship menu, or you can press zero to repair your ship on the fly. Let's go to the ship menu, which is this one. Repair. Repair. But for some reason, zero doesn't seem to work for me. I'd like to change that anyway. I don't like it being so so far away. Oh, here we go. Come on then, big boy. How do we lose target? He's right there. Well, he got destroyed. Uh, tab out, tab. Come back here. Heal it. Heal the city. Land. Like so we got precious. We got three there in one go, which not too bad. So let's just quickly check piloting. We just need four now. Right, I reckon we can smash those four out in this episode, which may leave <laughs> may mean uh, we don't make it to Hulk Tech. I can help you with. But Looks you know to what? Me like you've already in pretty good shape. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. See you later then, pal. I think we can get a pretty decent ship going, and... I reckon... If we... Nab ourselves one of the pirate ships... That could... Be the basis for our next... Our new ship. Because at the moment, we've only caught one ship. Crimson Fleet Captain. Let's go. So, destroy for Crimson Fleet Captain. Set course is over here. Let's go. Uh, so, it looks like is this way. Some reason we're not moving. Oh no, there's a thumbnail. All right, let's see what oh crap, straight away. No. This one's only a level four. Oh, there we go. Swing it on round. Oh, look at that. A nice rear shot right of the engines. And another one bites the dust. Either, I think we was too close then to get the rewards. No, nope, cargo hull is full. But I think we need to sell some of our stuff. <laughs> I think we've got a little bit too much. 
starting to become a bit of a hoarder. So, ah, there it is. I wonder if we can sell any at this outpost. We're gonna need to sell some stuff. I reckon if I go through it, I could probably get rid of about 95% of what's Fine, in our cargo. Like my favorite. So we'll head on over to the Trade Authority. Uh, right, bye. Sell from ship. Right, so we've got a jump pack we can sell. Um, yeah, we can probably get rid of the sandwiches, the apple, that, cereal, meal pack, ramen. We're keeping all of the med pack. We'll get rid of the bread. We'll keep the ship parts. We'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. Right, that's a lot of stuff there already gone. I'll take a look in here. Can we get rid of... Yep. 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 We'll get rid of... How many we got? <sighs> Six. Yeah, get rid of all. Get rid of that. I think we're just going to get rid of everything here. I was going to save it, but... There's, there's literally no point keeping it. It's just literal money that I could have. Because now I'm up to 55,000. I wish I'd, I wish I'd have tracked this from the start. It would probably been a fair bit. Oh wow, that looks really cool. Well, we're selling it. Whoa, lithium looks cool. I wonder if that uh, at this rate, I reckon. Wh why have I got? Oh, it's mono propellant. I don't know what that's for. It's a crafting component, so we don't need it. Apparently, I've, I've even picked up batteries. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Ooh, shiny. Super cooled magnet. Something. More stuff. Whoa, that looks cool. Tungsten. Uranium. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of anything radioactive. Vandium. I think rare inorganic resources item can be used. So we can craft in. Sell it. Wire. Zero G gimbal. Oh. That's cool. So, right, what we got in the miscellaneous? A blender base. Gone. Blender jar. Gone. A bowl. More bowls. Chisel. Cube. Digipick we're keeping. This is all stuff just taking up space. Right. What can I get rid of then? Yeah. Apparently, water is a very big commodity. And we're keeping them, definitely. 
Right, I think we've sold everything that we can. So we should be uh should be pretty good for a while now. Right, let's Oh, you're coming over. Okay. Right, so what are we up to on here? We're up to 12 out of 15, so we just need three more. Right, let's go. Smash it out. Your next stop wouldn't be the Caribbean system, would it? We got a report of a distress call out there. Uh, no, we didn't. Mm. Potentially. We don't actually know. We haven't picked up our mission yet. Mm. Right, let's pick up Olympus. That's where we're going. Set course, Olympus, jump. He is over this way. Oh, right. Let's knock out your shields first. Flip it on round. Beryllium and frames. Not bad. Right, we just need two left now. Two. Let's hurry on back to Cheyenne. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing this right. Please someone tell me if I'm if I'm pronouncing it right or if I'm just making a fool of myself. That ship looks Pretty cool. All right, we're back at Aquila. Let's rush on back. Ever wonder how the crimson? B. I do love having a jetpack, it's, it's a lot of fun to get around with. So let's rush back up the stairs. We've only got two left, two left and we can get, we can get that skill. Hopefully I've got enough skill points as well, I never even thought about that. Right, we're off to the pizzeria planet. Looks like they're over this way. My daft little freaking multicolored shit. <laughs> it looks brilliant. Right, so it looks like we're doing a bit of traveling again. We're over this way, 1.2 light years away. It looks like we're just flying into the planet here. Oh right, straight into the combat. Woo! Oh, we hit some stuff. Hey Dad, wanna hear right, a if we can get into a lag position behind. I just read about them. The high They had a bit of silver. Right, one left. One left to do. So let's head on back to Cheyenne. Planet Aquila. Aquila City.
not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy? <laughs> I love the little stories that the uh, NPCs come up with. Like there, she was just talking about she just learned what a haiku is and showing it off to her dad. And Sam's just like, "Wow, that's amazing! It's it's pretty cool. All these little uh, little stories you hear as you're going around." Uh, each NPC will, will try and make it sound like they're living their own lives, which is uh, it, it just adds to adds to the depth of the game. Helps you lose yourself into. It. I I like that about games, being able to lose yourself into the story of the game. Right, so let's head on over here to Sirius and see where this baddie is. Right, so it looks like we've got to go this way. I love oh, there we go. Right into the combat. Nah, we're going to lose them. So let's get into, try and get ourselves into a lag position behind them. There we go. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. Right behind them. Perfect shot at the engines. And then we can just bring it on round. But there's nothing they can do. Right, we do need to destroy this one. And that should be number 15. Nickel Cobalt. Oh, some more ship parts. I don't mind if I do, sir. That should... There it is. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I'm probably going to pronounce it about ten different ways, so I do apologise. I'm terrible with, with pronunciations. If it's not a word that I've heard being pronounced before, I'll struggle to pronounce it. You never know what you'll find. Right, this there we go. Is... So if we have a look <sighs> at our skill tree. Oh, we do have a point. Brilliant. So we can upgrade now to class B. Ah, we did it. I do need to destroy 30 to get class C, but I'm not bothered about that. Now that we've got that, it is awesome. Because now we can do this. We can level up and get ship parts. So, let's head on over to the ship designer, because I can finally get ship class B parts. This is going to make it so much better. Let's see what we can hey, do in the ship designer. You? Need some work done? I'd like to modify my ship, please, okay, mate. No problem. Right, so here we go. Ship builder. Let's... Oh, no, I don't want to pull that off. Right, so let's press G. Have a look at what we can get. Ooh. Not much there, but we can get some bigger reactors. So I think this this one's got 20. We've got 64,000 to play with. So I'm thinking we maybe swap this cockpit out for another one, but I don't know which type to go for. 
So let's have a look. Now, they're not all here at this one. They are spread about. But... This one may have some nice ones. This has four cruise stations in it. Ah, it's pretty snazzy. And it's got a bit of cargo space as well, which is pretty cool. So I don't see the difference between the Viking one. Well, the 110. Hmm. I don't think I like any of these cockpits, so we'll leave the cockpit that we've got. We're not looking at them. We can get some different landing bits. This one might be... Ah, this one needs to connect to the rear. Uh, no, thank you. What about this one? This one appears to be a connect at the rear as well. I'm just going to move over here a bit just to give us... There we go. Now we can have a look at the parts a little bit better. And this is... Connect at the top. Right. That is quite a nice one. Let's have a look at weapons. Because I think it is... Yeah, it's this one that we're using at the moment. I don't think there's any better ones here, so it looks like we've got the best best ones. Structural. There was some, I think it was Deimos made some wings. Oh, some wing looking things. Back to shields and back to reactors. So I think we may take a trip over to a Deimos shipyard see if we can find that so the Deimos one is I think it's orbiting Mars Yes, it's orbiting Mars, so we're going to take a quick trip to Mars to look at some shit parts there. So I would like to have a look at, uh, at some of their cockpits. I've already got an idea of layout in my head, so I'm hoping I can I'm able to translate the layout that's in my brain into um, how I want it. But I don't think that's going to work. I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Uh, so it's in the Sol system. And is this it here? Yeah, there's Mars. So let's zoom in on Mars. Is it? No, it's not this rock. It's there. Deimos shipyard. So we do need to power up the grav drive. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gone. There it is. Acknowledging your hail. Damal Star Yard is open for business 24-7. You're clear Let's to dock. dock. <clears throat> I 
and board. All the star yards still in business. Always pumping out ships for the UC to keep the calm. Wow, this place looks awesome. When humanity finally left the I wish Demos was exclusively a military contractor. Deimos ships are If it weren't for Deimos, the Free Star Collective would be safe and secure. They make a hell of a warship. Whoa. These look absolutely bonkers. Oh, look at that one. Step foot in here. Welcome to Deimos. So where's the dude we need to talk to about building a ship? Is it you? That Hi. Of sitting in the cold You're a customer. Sword, there's nothing like it. Let's try going downstairs. This is the heart of the UC. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. That's pretty cool then. Anyone that flies in space earns my respect. Heck, an independent may be even braver. You don't have a fleet at your back when the Crimson Fleet comes calling. So Very true. Let's see they are very troublesome. Profession. One worthy of you. I'd like to modify my ship, let's please, good up. sir. We'll just have to keep the super bug as it is. For now. I mean, we can, while we're here at least, we'll delete the old engine. We'll slap in the bigger engine, uh, the bigger reactor, just so it's not a complete waste of time. Can we get a bigger fuel tank as well? Where am I looking? I just sort of zoned out for a second then. There we go. We can get a bigger fuel tank. Maybe if we bring this forward. Put in a... What should we do? Bring this forward as well one. Pop that back on there. Open that up. Go to Hab's storeroom, move that guy forward, that guy forward, bring that guy forward. We can then put in a structural random hole piece. And we got a bit more room in the, in the ship. Landing thrust one. I think they've all got landing thrust one. Um. Right, we can now put. I just want to upgrade the shields. If I can't do anything, I am upgrading the bloody shields. That one. Delete that one. That one. Go to fuel tanks. Bang that on. And I'm also going to upgrade the cargo. So I'm going to put these little cargo pieces on here. Just like that. Adds a little bit more to it. Then I might put a decoration. Some windows, just to make the place look a bit nicer. I like that a lot. I've got some windows. It just a little bit of a little bit of detail, a little bit of aesthetics. Smartens the place up a bit. I mean, we could if we wanted to as well. 
Uh, upgrade the grav drive, but I don't think we can. I wonder if... Can we get the newer versions of the white dwarfs that we've got? Uh, engines. I mean, we could probably just get some better engines altogether. Looking at these. So that's 9200. So if I go here, we could probably get these. Which, the other ones are better. Uh, we've got these. We could get these. And we can't get them. We might, might be able to. But we can get these. And now that we've got, we could move that to the bottom, get rid of this cargo, because we've got these cargos, which hold 24, and that only holds 210. So we've got these two, which hold more than that one, and then put a third engine in. Ah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Right. These guys are going. They're poo. Copy that one. Flip it. Bang it there. You, you're out. You, you're gone. This one, grab drive. And get this boy. And then we can go here. Engine. White dwarf. You know what? I just realised. I just had an idea. Get rid of that companion way and put it there. If we move that forward. And then I'll be moving that out there, that there. Oh, we need to move the dome as well. And put that there. Now we've just got an empty space here, so... We'll put in... Uh, structural... Ah, uh, we can't put the tail in. We'll put the hull in, and then we'll just put that... Uh, what do you call it? Cargo plate thing back in, like so. And it ties it all nice and neat again. Oh, the super bug got an upgrade! I mean, we could have left that out and gone... Like so. Or... Like that. Or take that out. Move that back. Put that back in as a bit... Oh, that looks better. The super bug. Right, now we just need to paint it. Uh, Jay, you can be orange. And that one can be a green. That one. Let's go. A reddish. Yeah. Yes, I know. You probably all think I'm weird right now for doing all the, uh, all this sort of painting. Oh yeah, we'll have a nice pink at the back. 
make it very bright. And I think we could get away with a with an orange or a, or a turquoise. Oh yeah, that pops. I think that's everything we need to paint. So that's going to cost us 63000 just to upgrade the bug. I mean, that goes to show you how expensive some of these ships are, but the bug is a lot better now. It's a fair bit better. So we'll hit C for flight check. Ship has unattached modules. What module is unattached? I mean, I know what's unattached now. I wonder if... No, that has attachment points. That has attachment points. Do these engines attach on the back? Oh, it's these guys. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to have the engine there. Uh, the reactor. So this guy have to go underneath. So these guys can attach on the side. I mean, it looks a bit weird, but so does a lot of the choices I've made when it comes to this ship. I may get rid of that part. <laughs> We'll get rid of that. We'll attach that there. And we'll put the... Um, what do you call it? We'll put that hab random structural part back in the hull. Just so it looks normal-ish. I don't know. It looks fine. All right, flight check. Ship has unattached modules. What module would that be? They're attached. That's attached. Are you attached? Yep. Yeah. You attached? Yep. Yeah. Error. What, what? Show me where the error is. Now we got two errors apparently. I genuinely have no idea what the second error is. What this other error is. I mean, it'd be nice if it told you what the module is. So, let's just tear it apart until we find out. Guess we'll keep going.
Right, we're down to now. So, let's attach that there. That there. That went there. That went there. There we go, I just had to take my entire ship apart and put it back together again in order for it to stay, everything's fine. I think it's because I was jumbling it around that much it got confused. And also I did notice we forgot to change the colour of this. So this is going to be a super bright blue. Ooh, even I don't like that. That's a bit too much for me. There we go, that's better. Right, let's hit tab. Pay over the 55,148,000 credits. Ta-da! We've got our ship. Install five unique parts as well. That's leveled us up. Another part. So. When you get serious about your we'll space see class, you later, pal. We're going to go to the upgraded bug. Board. Let's board our new, well, our oh, new upgraded ship. Again, back into the harness. So the cargo bay is still there, and the thing is still there. It's still only a small part of it. And we've still got the original cockpit, so not a great deal has changed, but it is a lot nicer. So uh, we're going to take a quick look at skills because I think we've got... No, we don't have a skill point. Okay. So we've completed this, but we haven't got a skill point to get this. Which will allow the installation of superior ship models so we can get even better ship models. But I'll we'll have to leave that for the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's a bit of a long-winded one, this one. But we finally got what we wanted. We were able to upgrade the Superbug. Next episode, we'll take a look at um, going over to Hope Tech and interviewing the guy there to see why he didn't notice his ship going missing. Bit of a weird one, considering how big the ships are. How would you not notice or hear a ship flying away and not know about it? So we'll take a look at that in the next episode. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. It, um, I can't thank you enough for all the support that we've been getting. If you've got any suggestions on how we can complete, uh, how we can level up faster, or anything at all like that, let me know in the comments section below, and uh, we, can, we can take a look at it in an episode. And if you want to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all, all, the, uh, all the uploads coming out. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye now.